Hi everyone, I'm Iona and I'm a food farming and horticulture tutor at the Rookies House Estate. Normally we'd be welcoming many of you along to the estate to take part in a variety of different fun activities but unfortunately that can't happen so I thought I would come to you virtually to take you through the process of creating your very own bug hotel like these ones here. Uh, so the great thing about this activity is it only uses materials that you'll either find in and around your home or things that you can pick up when you're out your daily exercise. So a really fun activity that gets us out, outdoors, um, gets us working together and also we're looking after our insects which is so important. First thing we're going to do is have a look around the house for containers that we can use to make our bug hotels. Um, I've had a look through the recycling, I found some milk cartons, water bottle, eh, a plastic container. Um, so these sort of things are perfect. Um, it's great that they're made of plastic, it means that we're giving them another use. Um, it also means that they're going to be long lasting and waterproof. Uh, so we want to avoid using things that are made of cardboard or paper, um, as if these were to get wet, then obviously they would go soggy and they wouldn't last as long. Um, so next step is heading outside. Um, so this could be going to your garden or going to walk to the park and we're going to be having a look for things that we could put inside our bug hotels that our bugs might like. Uh, so this could include leaves, eh, pine cones, twigs, moss, bits of bark, eh, anything that's fallen and that is so important. We don't want to pick anything that's live, we're just looking for things that have already fallen onto the floor. So let's go. Insects are vital components of so many ecosystems because they carry out crucial tasks like controlling pests, pollinating flowers and recycling nutrients back into the soil. If it wasn't for insects busying themselves with these kinds of jobs, scientists have said that within only 50 years there would be no life left on Earth, which is such a scary thought. There's been a huge decline in the number of UK plant and animal species over the past 50 years and one of the main reasons for this is the loss of their habitats. So making these bug hotels is a great way for us to help. The hotels can help insects like solitary bees because a lot of their natural habitat has been built on or destroyed. Many insect hotels are used as nest sites for these types of bees. When you're foraging, have a look and see if you can find any hollow sticks like bamboo canes as these make for great nesting sites. Also have a look and see if you can spot any loose bark as beetles, centipedes, spiders and wood lice really enjoy spending their time lying beneath wood and bark that is decaying. Other insects, like ladybirds, may use your hotel to relax and hibernate in. Dry sticks, leaves and straw provide really great safe hibernation sites for invertebrates like these to settle. By making a bug hotel, you can help encourage biodiversity in your area, whether you live rurally or in a town or city. Let's encourage our brilliant bugs to keep coming back. So now I've finished foraging, I've laid out all my materials that I collected. So I've got some moss, some stones, some bark, sticks, pine cones, Obviously you don't need all of these materials, anything that you got will be great. I've got some examples of bug hotels that I've made, um, but this is your chance to get really creative. Obviously you don't need to look like these ones, I'm sure you'll have some great ideas. This one um, has been made from a milk carton. So first thing you need to do is make sure you create a door, for the, a space for the insects to get in and out of. You'll need to get help from an adult for this part because it's really quite tricky to cut the plastic plastic. Another thing you'll need to get help with is making the holes to put the string through. So this bug hotel has been made from a water bottle and it's been jammed really tightly with the sticks and moss and different materials. It's important for them to be jammed tightly because if they're blowing in the wind you don't want the contents to fall out of them. So this could be hung from a windowsill or a tree. This one here I, I made from a punnet from the grapes. Uh, I glued some moss around it, um, creating layers with bark and pine cones. Um, I used a tube from a kitchen roll, 
cut it in half and use one half uh, rolled the bits of cardboard to make spaces for solitary bees, love that. Um, really important to create lots of little spaces, nooks and crannies for the insects to get in and out of. I've used some sharpies to decorate them, gave some of them names. Um, but yeah, this is your chance to do whatever, whatever you like. Um, I would love to see your creations, how they turned out. So please do send them in and I'm sure I'll see you again soon for another video.